Well, he's he's just got on the on the bus to go to uh, the launch pad, basically. So they're they're getting uh, ready to get into the Soyuz capsule. I just had a very quick chat with his wife uh, Rebecca, who uh, is uh, you know pleased, smiling, grinning ear to ear. And uh, uh, someone asked her, you know, is it going to be unusual for the boys to have uh, you know daddy as an astronaut? And she said, well, we've actually got two uh, other families in the school in Houston uh, whose fathers are astronauts. So this is all a, a bit normal for them because they've been thinking about this and building up to it for, for years, really. And uh, and this is the culmination of all those preparations. But uh, Tim was looking very relaxed as he walked out in his space suit. Uh, there was a bit of a photo op before they got on the bus. They get on the bus now. They head off to the launch pad. There's one uh, last tradition that they have to perform, which is a, a bit funny, dating back to uh, Yuri Gagarin's days. They all have to stop and urinate on the back tire of the bus, uh, because that's what every astronaut has done since they took off here in 1961. So they're not going to break with that tradition. It's a bit of a superstition here. So they'll do that, and then they're going to get strapped into the rocket, and we're in the final countdown. Dan, that's brilliant. Do you know what? Even as you were speaking, I just turned to Piers and said, what happens if they need the loo right mm. at this moment? At which point you said they actually, as a sort of superstitious <laughs> tip, they just urinate on the wheel of the bus. Yeah. Phenomenal. Things that you wouldn't expect to be talking about at 17 minutes past eight. <laughs> Dan Rivers reporting on Tim Peake's progress.